What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are about to have an In My Opinion. I'll give it a little time first. I love coffee. Got two different ones. All right, let's get into it. We'll flip this around. Let's see if I can line this up nice. I have to back this up a little bit. All right, today's, in my opinion, let me actually raise this up. There we go. Today's, my, in my opinion, is with Jeff Lighton. These are escape clips. He's titled it Jeff Lighton, Skate Clips for All I Needs, in my opinion. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. What's going on, Shetler and the rest of the All I Need guys? My name is Jeff Lighton. I've been skateboarding for about three years. Hope you enjoy. Chill, chill. Oh, I hear some Tupac in the backdrop, bro. I'm not sure where this is. That's a good question, though. Look at all that graffiti, my dude. Oh, is that double, maybe? Oh, man. What? He hit the rail. He's got it. Oh. Oh, I'm guessing Red, uh, New Hampshire. I'm guessing he's in New Hampshire because that's Red Alert Skate Park right there. That place is sick. Oh, -ho, big spin flip. Lynch Family Skate Park right there in Boston. Shout out. Hype Cam says, this guy's pretty sick. Oh, 50 50 shove. Yeah, this is in uh, Massachusetts and New Hampshire so far. With the safety vest. Nice. Good way to end it right there. All right, let's do a little recap. Let me flip this around real quick. All right, first, I got your name wrong. So let's go Jeff Layton. I said Layton, I believe, in the beginning. But, uh, man, you came through right there. You came through with a solid uh, about two minutes of footage. Let me let me run it back real quick so I can give you some of the highlights of today's video. What's going on, Shetler? Also, all right, so first, I really enjoyed the intro. It's cool that you uh, made this edit specifically for the In My Opinion. So shout out, Jeff Layton, Skate Clips, solid intro, hyped you were part of this. I appreciate it. And it was about 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So let's flip it around. I'll give you a little play-by-play, -play, let you know what I thought of it. Let's go ahead. We'll make this big again, and we shall move through. All right. Solid intro. Skated for three years. Pretty good, man. Nolly 270. A little sit before he goes. In the middle of skating, he's got the water bottle. Ah, oh, front tail. Shove right there. Solid. Fakey front side into the cobblestone. Little tail side shove. Ah, oh, this clip right here. Look at the steez, the arm steez. This clip right here, you had a little Tupac in the backdrop. I like it. Solid varial flip down the metal four block right there. That park looks pretty fun. 
Let's keep it moving. I'm not sure where this park is, Jeff. Shout me out. Let me know where that park is. Oh, that was a wild one. That was a big spin to like front truck, then to disaster. Yeah, solid tray flip right there. You had a couple good tray flips, if I'm honest. This might have been the highlight clip, though. Oh, look at the face. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's the highlight clip. The big spin to basically backside 180 nose grind on accident down the hub. But that was insane, Jeff. That was insane. And then this. The reaction. Oh, the hype is real. Look at homie in the back. Looks like he's blading. <laughs> um, let me go and I wonder if I can see the comments real quick. Um, it doesn't really. Oh, here we go. Weird developer said I made it. Hype can said sometimes it's hard to tell what's a hard flip and what's a variable. Varial. Uh, Jeremy Auger says okay, skate on, fellas. Good video, bro. Hype Camp says this guy's pretty sick. Blood, sweat, and tears. Skateboarding says, this is fire. Hell yeah. All right, so let's get back to it. Get back to some of the highlights. Little run on Manny right there. That was sick. I lost it. There we go. Oh, that was another highlight as well right there. Let me pull that one back. Oh, look at that. Look at that extension on that hippie jump. Look how high he is. Board's popping the wheelie right there. Here, we'll give it a little. Oh, Hippie 180. Now, this park right here, this is Red Alert in New Hampshire. Shout out to those guys. You guys are epic. If you're ever in New Hampshire and you want to check out a sick skate park, go to Red Alert Skate Park. Hell yeah. I believe it's Dover, New Hampshire. Maybe Rochester. I think it moved, actually. Yeah, the hype is real. What? Blunt finger flip solid. I enjoyed that. Oh, that was so sick, man. Big spin flip off the quarter pipe into that crusty bank, Jeff. That was solid, man. In a line, no nonetheless, for sure. She Skates just joined the live feed. What up? Weird developer said that was amazing. Hell yeah, Jeff. People are feeling it right now. All right, let's keep it moving. More highlights. More highlights. Oh, UPS. Bring my new board. Solid varial kickflip right there at Lynch Family. Check that out, downtown Boston. Jeff, you, you got a solid tray flip as well. Oh. Manual firecracker with the steez, loud ass music. Oh, backside 5 0 transfer. This place right here might be the best spot to skate. It's in Boston, uh, outside Boston, I guess. And I think it's called Wonderland, but there's a bunch of these ledges right here. See this ledge that I believe he does 50-50 front shove out properly. And it's right near the water, as you can see. And uh, there's a bunch of ledges. It's slightly downhill. We were filming at that We were filming at that spot in Thrive Prosper Eyes. If you go check out the All I Need Thrive Prosper Eyes video on our channel, You'll see Goonan with some epic lines at that spot for sure. Yeah, 50 front shove right there. Oh, just barely pulling off the kick with no uh, stall. Safety vest tray flip for the boys. Nice. Definitely got to let us know where that park is, homie. And that was the ender right there. All right. So we watched it twice right now. Jeff, Jeff Layton, because I got the name wrong the first time. In my opinion, this video was sick, man. You had some bangers. Obviously, that was good for you, man. You were proud of some of that stuff. You had some good energy. You could tell you're having fun as well, which is one of the most important parts of all of this. And uh, I really hyped you sent it. If I had to critique it at all, I'd just say clean up some of the tricks, man, and maybe a little faster on a couple of them. I can tell that some of this stuff was your first time pulling it off, so I'm not going to be too hard on you. But, uh, yeah, it's a good start, man. And I'd say after you get the you know parts in the skate park done, just head out to the streets 
and uh, skate around, man. Start filming all street edits because I'd like to sit down with it, in my opinion, all all street edit and just kind of go over the spots and go over the tricks and whatnot, man. But overall, Jeff, you destroy, homie. And thanks for the intro. That was so cool. That stoked me out. It uh, got me hyped to know that people are out there, you know, stoked on the in my opinions and some of my weird noises like choo, 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 boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Can't help it, dude. Sometimes I just do that. And uh, shout out to everybody in the live stream right now. You guys are epic. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for giving Jeff some feedback. Definitely leave a comment and let him know what you thought of his skating. That would be rad. I'm sure he'd be stoked. And if you want to submit an In My Opinion video part, I changed the limit. It can be three minutes long. No music. Three minutes long. No music, please. And just send it to my email. All I need skate at hotmail.com. Thought it was cool. Hell yeah, weird developer. Shout out for all the engagement. Tim McKenney out there, legend, killing it. Always engaging, you're the man. Uh, thank you guys again. And shout out Jeff as well. Here, before I go, I'll give you guys a little preview. Some stuff. Oh, new boards. This one's an 8.1. 8.5, Arnold. 775. We don't have that many 775s in the lineup, but we have actually two now. This is one of them. And then this is my unofficial pro model, 825. Mr. White Cage right there. This is the other 775 while I'm at it. Our rise deck. And let me see. These are the new sweatpants, new joggers. These ones are already sold. We do have a couple pairs left. I believe we have we have one one medium, two large, and maybe a couple smalls in there. Got some spray paint. All I need. She skate. What's up? Um, let me see. This is my nice little troll that I got. Man's got a little mustache. All I need all day. T plug in the building. Let's see. Hand painted this. My little flame boy, right behind this actually, is, this is the original All I Need video. Oh my God, okay, we're good. This is the original All I Need video flyer that we did. Look at this, this was in March 21st. It was sponsored by all these guys. We created the All I Need video, man. Hype Cam says, if I'm practicing tail stall, should I start dropping in or pumping up? Ooh, that's a solid question. And I will answer that for you. Let me turn the camera around. Because I am all over the map with this live feed. There we go. Okay, so let me read the question again. Make sure I get it correct. If I can figure out how to use this. Here we go. Hype Cam asks... If I'm practicing a tail stall, should I start by dropping in or pumping up? Okay, so if you're going to practice tail stalls, I would say practice it on flat ground first. You know, just practice popping your tail up, hitting it on the ground, putting it back down, dropping in. Pop, pop, pop. That way you get used to uh, just that motion of going back and up and down with your skateboard, you know, hitting the tail and putting it back down. And then if you're going to do it on a mini ramp, I would say definitely learn to pump up the transition. And then creep your way up to tail stall. But start tail stalling really low at first. So tail stall, stall super small on the transition. Just tap it, come back down. Tap it, come back down. And slowly work your way upwards. That way you don't have to um, get hurt. You know, a lot of it is people just get hurt trying it. Let me put this down for us. So yeah, just practice your tail stalls on the mini ramp. Learn to pump up one side, come back, do a baby tail stall, come back down, and then slowly work your way up. You always rather go up, uh, work your way up from the bottom instead of just trying to drop in and get all the speed and then you have to deal with a rock to fake you or hitting your trucks on the coping. Always practice your tricks from the bottom up, man. And that way you'll learn them precise and they'll be smooth and you won't get hurt doing them. So yeah. That's the best advice I can give you through the internet. If you're skating, I could totally show you. But like at Skater's Edge, what I do is I get, when I teach skateboard lessons, is I get people to do a tail stall on flat, and then we go to a small little bank ramp, 
and we work our way from like tail dropping in on that and just getting comfortable with the concept of leaning back and hitting your tail on the ground. But on a mini ramp, that's what I'd say. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Can you count how many skateboards are behind me? <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> not too many because we got to move those. She skates in the building. Tips for hard flips. T plug shout out says tip for hard flips. Hard flips, I'd say make sure your kick flips are super crispy, super clean. And then front shove, you got to make sure your front shove's on fire. You know, it's super proper. And then I would put my front foot probably about halfway down the board, not too high, not too low, in kickflip position. And then I'd set my back foot up as if I'm kind of doing a front shove. So in the middle of the tail. And then it's just a timing thing. You got to learn how to time the pop. And as soon as you hear that pop, there's like a millisecond where you got to like flick the front foot and shove it, and then you'll see it kind of like flip and fold onto itself. And then you got a, the difficult task of just trying to stay over it, which is never easy, you know? But yeah, that would be it. Just practice your kickflips, practice your front shoves on flat ground, and then start to combine the two. And don't, don't keep doing the same thing over and over when you're practicing hard flips, or even tail stall for that matter. Do a, do a little experimenting, you know? See what works and what doesn't work. You might take a slam or two, but at least you'll know. Like, hey, maybe I got to put my foot a little higher. Maybe I got to put a little bit lower. And asking for help is probably a really good way to start, you know? It's awesome that you already asked for help here. So if you're at a park or you're around someone who's skating, just ask them too. Just say, hey, what do you, do you got hard flips? Can you help me out? I need a little help with my hard flips, you know? Hype Cam says, if I'm practicing a tail stall, should I start by dropping in or pumping up? Oh, we already covered that one, so we're good. But yeah, I would say just start with pumping up. Don't drop in and try to learn tail stalls. Not a good idea, because if you can't tail stall, you probably shouldn't be dropping in, just because it's unearned speed, you know? Like, dropping in, you're going to be flying, trying to keep your balance. Whereas if you're just going from the bottom, you can learn to balance really good and center it and all that, so... Uh, any other questions before I go? I'm about to take off, but if you guys got more questions, I'll stick around and chat it up. I think I'm going to go say what's up to my dogs, maybe take them for a walk. Might swing by Skater's Edge for sure, because I might film some more stuff for their next edit. I think tomorrow's edit is going to be some throwback footage of the All I Need Skate Trip to California. I believe we called it... Um, Cali trip and tip, a trip. It was so sick, man. Got a bunch of Corey Goonan in there. I believe Billy Drown, Timmy Knuth, myself. Uh, should be a good edit if I can get to it, you know? And uh, shout out to Jason Green for poking into the live stream. Good looks. How you doing, my friend? Shout out to She Skates 926 She says, have a nice day. And she shreds. You should check out She Skates page because she's a G. And she loves skateboarding. And she's always posting stuff and doing cool stuff within skateboarding. So, And Tim McKenney, again, man, I just want to shout you out because I know you've been supporting skateboarding. You've made it your life. You put your life into it. And uh, I heard about you before I even, even uh, like before I was even into skating. I, when I first got into it, I heard about your skating and saw you and stuff. So really stoked that you follow the channel and you give so much love and your positivity is affectious and I really appreciate it. This channel is so fun to do with you guys, by the way. Hype Cam, see you later. Tim McKenney said go send it home real quick. <laughs> totally agree, man. Yeah, again, thanks for today, guys. Jeff Layton, awesome in my opinion, man. Thank you for that. I really enjoyed it. And if you want to submit a video, three minutes, raw footage, no music, email it to all I need skate at hotmail.com and we will review your footage. Or I will. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or maybe I'll get Gunan in here to do it in my opinion. That would be tight as well. Thank God for coffee. Hot coffee. Uh, all right, people. Stay out there. Stay killing it. Keep shredding, my dudes. Don't lose the fire. Keep it burning, man. It matters to me. You know? Peace.